Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 things an octopus can do that should terrify you. Number 10. Mimicking other animals Everyone thinks they know what an octopus looks like, a big, bulbous head with sleepy eyes and eight terrifying tentacles. Well, everyone is wrong. While most octopuses look like this, there are certain species that deviate from this pattern. One species deviates so wildly that they can take on the form of other marine animals. As you can see in the video we're showing here, the mimic octopus does exactly what its name suggests. At a moment's notice, it can rearrange its body into a whole new shape, puffing up and turning purple, or even curling up and running along the ocean floor on what looks like legs. It's currently known to mimic at least 19 different species, but who says there aren't others in its repertoire? So why should you be scared? If octopuses can mimic other shapes, that means that anything could be an octopus. Your friends, your family, the strangers sitting around you right now. Even you could be an octopus and just not know it. Number 9. Dirty Psychological Tricks Plenty of animals eat other animals without us making fear-mongering videos about them, but the octopus is a little different. It doesn't simply chase down and devour its prey like any self-respecting predator. No, the octopus is sneaky. The octopus employs dirty tricks, some of which are kind of terrifying. For an example, check out the video we're showing here. A shrimp is just minding his own business when he feels a tap on his right shoulder. Fearing danger, he immediately scoots left right into the waiting maw of a hungry octopus. The eight-legged monster tricked him. So why should you be scared? Although the shrimp trick is basic, it demonstrates an understanding of psychology in octopuses we're not really sure we like. After all, humans fall for the old tap-on-the-shoulder trick all the time. Imagine if next time that happens you turn around not to see an empty space, but the cold, dead eyes of a gigantic, hungry cephalopod. Number 8. Using Tools Tool use is a sign of intelligence. For a long time we thought it was unique to humans, although we've since witnessed primates and certain types of birds doing it. That's understandable. Primates are extremely close to us humans, and types of crows have been shown to be as intelligent as five- to seven-year-old children. What's less understandable is seeing that sort of behavior arise in non-mammal sea creatures, yet that's exactly what we've witnessed octopuses doing. Octopuses have been observed doing everything from using bits of wood to pry open clamshells to opening child-proof jars. In the video here, one sneaky guy even grabs hold of two coconut shells and uses them to construct a makeshift shelter. Forget using tools, octopuses are making freaking houses. So why should you be scared? If they're already using tools and building houses, how long will it be before they upgrade to spears, crossbows, and assault rifles? Don't say we didn't warn you. Number 7. They can walk on land so there's this H.G. Wells story, and in one of the dumbest scenes, the hero is running up a beach as a bunch of octopuses jump out and run after him on their tentacles. It blows suspension of disbelief right out of the water, until you happen to have watched the video we're showing here. Not only are the octopuses capable of moving around on land, but apparently they do it all the time. To be fair, this is only one species of octopus, nonetheless it is still terrifying to watch. The aquatic monster uses his suckers to latch onto rocks and drag his shapeless form between pools, feasting on any unwary prey that get in his way. While that prey isn't human yet, we're betting it's only a matter of time. So why should you be scared? If octopuses can move on land, no one is safe. It's like discovering Daleks can't be defeated by stairs. The one defense you thought you had against the creatures of your nightmares turns out to be horrifyingly useless. Number 6. They can learn by watching Learning by watching is a pretty complex trait for an animal to possess. It involves not only the ability to logically process visual information, but also to then realize this information has real-world applications that will benefit you. Generally speaking, it's the preserve of certain mammals, a couple of bird species, and, well, the octopus. As the video we're showing here shows, scientists have found octopuses copying the behavior of one another and learning new skills in the process. Just as it would take only one expert human to teach a whole group of other humans how to set a trap or use a gun, octopuses can apparently share information on how to complete tasks. The moment one decides its task is killing humans, and we're all in trouble. So why should you be scared? Dear God, why wouldn't you be? What happens when the first octopus figures out how to use an assault rifle or drive a car? What happens when the first octopus leaps out of the ocean and fastens onto the nearest human face? We'll be extinct before the week is up. Number 5. They can squeeze through virtually any gap Picture the scene. The day of the great octopus uprising has come. As shape-changing, tool-wielding, land-walking octopuses swarm across the earth, 
You manage to take shelter in your car. You lock the door and stick the key in the ignition, desperately trying to ignore the tentacles flapping against the windows. The car starts, and just as you think you might get away, you see the octopus squeezing in through the air ducts. Thanks to their lack of a skeleton, octopuses can squeeze and contort their bodies in all sorts of strange ways. This means they can get through virtually any gap. In lab settings, this means they have an annoying habit of escaping down drains. When the octopus apocalypse comes, it means none of us will be safe. So why should you be scared? Even zombies can be stopped by a jail cell door or a chain-link fence, but no such luck with octopuses. If your hiding spot has even a single one-inch hole, you'll be octopus food. Number 4. They have super strength Just because they're squishy and can squeeze through gaps doesn't mean octopuses are a pushover. Those tentacles of theirs are outlandishly strong. How strong? Well, check the video we're showing here. That's a full-grown male human diver at the peak of physical fitness, surrounded by other helping humans, and even he can't escape the death-like grip of one angry octopus. Time and again, evidence has shown that octopuses are powerful enough for acts of extreme brutality. There are reports out there of lone octopuses taking on sharks and winning. That's right, even the ocean's most perfect killing machine can get its ass handed to it by an octopus. If you're faced with the choice of battling one of two marine creatures and the shark seems like the safer option, you know the other creature has to be an absolute badass. So why should you be scared? If you thought you could fight off a crowd of marauding octopuses, you were wrong. All it would take is for one of them to drag you into its cold embrace, and the world will never hear from you again. Number 3. Their brains are legitimately freaky and freakishly intelligent The last time humans and octopuses shared a common ancestor was some 750 million years ago. The Redina supercontinent was still around, the Cambrian explosion of life forms had yet to take place, and even dinosaurs were still several hundred million years away. It's likely that the ancestor was little more than a worm with freaky eye spots, so it should come as no surprise to learn that octopus brains are extremely different from mammal or bird brains. What might freak you out, though, is just how different they are. Rather than being contained in one area, like ours are, octopus brains are spread out across their body. They have one central brain in the head section, and there's sort of a backup brain in each tentacle, plus another behind their eyes. This isn't just like spreading their one brain out. Each of these functions as a legitimately different brain. This means octopus tentacles can move independently of one another without first having to fire any signals to the central brain to get its okay. It would be like if your arms could move all by themselves, sometimes letting you in on their plans. Sometimes they'd coordinate with one another, and sometimes they'd just go solo. It's a form of intelligence that's utterly alien to our own, and it's really kind of creepy. So why should you be scared? Even headshots won't kill these monsters. In countries where people eat live octopus, it's not uncommon for the tentacles to keep attacking the eater, even after the head has been chewed up and swallowed. Number 2. They are capable of cannibalism on the surface, this should be a good thing. Octopuses are solitary animals that don't have families or long-term mates or anything like that. They're so solitary that when they see other octopuses, they frequently attack and eat them. While this should be good news for the fledgling human resistance, we're going to politely disagree. The fact that octopuses eat their own is legitimately terrifying. Think about it. If a creature is so badass that it will eat its own kind not just when it needs to, but because it simply feels like it, what possible hope do we have? There's no mercy with a creature like that. No chance to beg it to spare your spouse, your parents, your children. No chance to plead with it for even a modicum of understanding. As far as the octopus is concerned, you're simply another source of food. When the uprising comes, there will be no mercy. So why should you be scared? Well, we shun cannibalism for a reason. This is that horrifying reason. Number 1. They bear grudges So far in this video, you may have got the impression that we're talking about the octopus uprising like it's a far-off thing. Something that will be accomplished when octopuses evolve higher intelligence or something like that. Well, we're here to tell you that that is not the case. Octopuses already have the ability, brain power, and sheer demonic personalities to take over the world. You can see this in the fact that octopuses have already learned to bear grudges against certain humans. An article in the nature-based Orion magazine not so long ago recounted the story of a female worker at an octopus aquarium. One male giant Pacific octopus named Truman took a dislike to her and would squirt water whenever she was near, soaking her. After a while, she understandably quit. Months passed, Truman didn't soak a single other person. 
Then, nearly a year later, the woman returned for a visit. Truman immediately drenched her. So why should you be scared? If an octopus can hold a grudge against a mere lab worker for a year, imagine what it would do to someone that it had a reason to hate, say a species that was famous for eating live octopuses, a species that was destroying its habitat through pollution and global warming, a species that thought it was the number one predator on Earth. What we're trying to say is that the octopuses are coming for you, and there's nothing you can do to stop them. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And if you want to let us know what you think of this video, do use the comment section below. And thank you for watching.